Hello everyone, welcome to Apogee Edge 4 minute videos for developers part of API traffic management quota series. In this video, we're going to see how quota policy works and how you can set unique counters by leveraging the flow variables. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google on Apogee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apogee Edge account, which is free, you can register at apogee.com slash edge. You need basics of Apogee Edge quota policy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute video of season 2 episode 3. Let's get started. As you know, Apogee Edge uh, sits in between the client and the backend. When the request comes to the client, uh, we use the quota policy to set the counters. But what if uh, if you want to have an unique counters uh, for different uh, app developers and we want to count quota against the app developer? Let's say we have a quota of three per minute and uh, we have seen earlier how to apply generic quotas that is applicable to all APIs. But in this video, we're going to see how to have unique counters. Let's say we want to have a different counter for a different developer and we want to count against uh, three calls per minute. And whenever there is more calls, we want to discard it gracefully in AppGH. So we're gonna do that uh, by leveraging the flow variables. So in this video, we're going to see how to apply unique counters based on query param. Let's say uh, app dev uh, uh, is a query param, which is distinguishing uh, different developers. And we want to apply different counter for purple developer and the blue developer. Let's see how we can able to do this in AppGH using the quota policy. Let's get started. Let's see quota policy in action for unique counters. To get started, uh, Log into apogee.com slash edge. Make sure your organization is selected. Click on API proxy to create a new proxy that demonstrate quota policy capability. Click on proxy to create a new proxy. I'm going to call it uh, uh, quota unique counter demo. Third demo. I'm going to say base path as v1 slash quota demo unique. I'm going to use existing API as a mock target Apache and click next, choose pass through, build and deploy. We're going to attach the quota policy uh, to the pre flow of the proxy endpoint. So click on pre flow, uh, click on pre flow, click on plus step, click on quota, add. So I'm going to remove the necessary elements to demonstrate this. So I'm going to remove type calendar and allow count, allow count. I'm going to say it as three per minute. I'm going to remove the reference. So interval is uh, one and uh, time unity is a uh, minute. And I'm going to say distribute it to true and synchronous to true to make sure we see the things that we want to see. And uh, let's say identifier to maintain unique quota counters. I'm going to say ref is equal to request.queryparam.app and save the policy. So we're gonna allow three per minute uh, based on the query param app dev value and it maintains the unique counter. So let's uh, start the trace session and let's make a call uh, with app dev is equal to blue. As per the quota policy, it should allow three requests within a minute and it should uh, give 500. And if you change the value, like say purple, then it's gonna start a new counter and again, it should allow three requests. After that, it should start giving finders. As you can see, it allowed three three requests for blue. It allowed three requests for purple. That means it is maintaining unique counters based on the query param value. That's how quota policy works. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post your questions in comment at uh, Subscribe to YouTube channel uh, to get notified whenever there's a new video. Thank you for watching this video.